Got a little Dion Waiters interview coming up right here. We're at the Mellow Center.
at that time is like, when you coming up and you coming up in the ranks, you know, in Philadelphia, we got different sides of like the city. And um, they consider true like across the tracks because Philadelphia would be all train tracks and stuff like that. So I lived on one side and like Chew was on the other side of the train track. So we call it across the track. So coming up, I had a court directly across the street from my house. You understand where I went to school at. That's where I started playing. And um, it was a guy, it was, it was Ramit, and there was a couple other guys that's like my childhood friend. Ramit was good on that side, like across the tracks, and I was like, you know, the best friend on my side. And they all came to the court where we was at, and we all just played like one on one, two on two, like damn there all night. And after that, we just built, we just built a relationship, like, probably like, Fourth or fifth grade, something like that, and um, it just went from there, bro. And it just started from there, and we started going over shoes, and shoes had this league, um, the Yada Bay, the Yada Bay League. It's called the Youth Development League, and um, basically, like you played to get a nickname. Like if you got a nickname over there, you were somebody. And um, my nickname was like Small Giant. I was like, my name was Heady. What's that? My name is Hedy because a lot of different reasons. I gave you a Hedy. <laughs> uh, I drew the ball a lot, but you know, it's like when I did stuff, it's wild. You know, just who's and eyes. And, you know, it was, just, it was a lot that went into that. So that was my name. And um, yeah, man, this shoes is a significant part of my life because that's where I spent most of my teenage years. Like seven, eight, three, I played with the Delta mm -hmm. high school players. And I was out there cooping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another kind of part of your upbringing, right. music. You know, I'm a big music guy. Still now. Yeah, of course. Music is like, for them, like, and motivation. And the guy that's saying some of the lyrics, you feel deeply because you went through certain traumas. You went through everything they're talking about, uh, being broke, and just deep, uh, people doubting. And sometimes music and basketball messes so well because the things that they're rapping about or the things we want to say. I feel like that's a message for you know, a lot of the Syracuse fans tuning in. Like, right. I'm not being you know, so passionate about hip hop music. Right. You gotta, that might be something to Yeah, it goes together because it goes together because the things that they're actually rapping about are the things we want to say in a different way. And it's like, you know, we gotta take the humble route. Because you don't want to lose your like, nah, like nah, bro. Right. Like yeah, so people. you gotta take the humble route and not say certain things or brag or post or you know, sometimes they just rub people the wrong way, but you know, rappers can kinda of do that. Like show you that. Like the money and like the jewelry, like and as athletes we can't do that because we gotta carry ourselves in a different way. You hit it right on the head off like that precedent kind of Keep your head down, you know, limit on expressing yourself. You ever yeah. frustrated at certain points in your Yeah, because things are a certain way, you know. You gotta answer and say things a certain way. A lot of times, like, if you can't really express yourself without having it, like, to be told to say it, you know, like, a certain way. Yeah. So I feel like I can only hope that dynamic she keeps, you know, gradually changing for sure. I feel like you're not the, like, a lot of, a lot of athletes probably feel that same, that same sense. And so, but I, I, they do. Yeah. They do. That's warranted for sure. I would, but I did want to just to tap into a little bit more on that Philly music scene. Like, yeah. the music, the expression, everything. I wanted to hit a little more on that. Obviously, though, you don't need no for a long time. So you got to bump in some, some music. Yeah. That's coming to you. Like, bro. So, so that's very cool. Yeah. But, I'm not gonna lie, between you and John Bowl, you guys have watched some of your old interviews. You guys have put me onto some, honestly, like some really good underground focus. Like, yeah. on the drive up to Keys, I was just bumping Lee Ford. Yeah, okay. I was just bumping yeah. some yeah. Ford. Like, yeah, Ford, like, Lee Ford. We got, got something going. Yeah, Joe, we got, I mean, Philly right now, we got a lot of time in the city. Like, we got a lot of young up and coming artists, a lot of artists, period. Just, we just, Tapping into like who we are. How do you describe the the sound or just the kind of? Uh, I mean, right now, right now, we, right now, we got the wave a little over there. Everything we got, we got drill music, we got dance music now. But like the, the, the kid that like shake that and all that, that's really goes well. 
So we're like, there's a different, there's different genres of music, different sounds right now in Philly that's, that's pop. It's not just all about just drill music or killing. It's, you got kids that's making their fun where they're dancing and expressing themselves in a different way. And I think that's, that's cool too. Yeah. So as far as other things you're passionate about, I've seen you kind of describe I'm passionate about a lot, man. I'm passionate about my family. I'm passionate about, you know, just drip. You know, I like to feel Absolutely. good. Absolutely, so I was gonna have a little bit. You know, I just like to feel good, but like, it's therapeutic to me. Like, I don't, like, need no, like, style or not. I like to really go and put the pieces together myself. It's just, I like to feel good. I like favorite designer brand to wear? Favorite maybe one, two, maybe three? Whatever. I mean, you know, I, I, I put it together, man. You know, I put it on. I feel like you got to make the clothes up. I'm mm -hmm. the clothes make you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you wear it, you should be able to wear anything. It's bad, it's bad. It is. Like clothes is a different way to express yourself also. So you see a lot of people with a lot of different styles. I'm more so like clean cut. Don't try to do too much, you know. I might do some like little colors there and there, but I'm real so like just straight clean. Working right off the the, the drip conversation, yeah, I've know. seen one thing you've done back yeah, in Philly. Really is you, you I got posted, it. yeah, for sure. No, really, uh, yeah. The, the talk around right here is that you got the the for drip sure. game on lock. For so sure. Other people are saying it's not so complete, like it's it's word around the town. Yeah, you know, I because yeah. I just I just try to keep it simple. I just you know. It's that swag, it's that confidence with it. You know, you just gotta, you gotta feel like, you that, you that guy, like I'm that guy. I tell you that. Working right off that, that trip conversation, I did want to ask you something. This annual event that you, you were hosting back in Philly, the suit and tie affair. Yeah, we're gonna, we gonna bring it back up. It's so so we have to perform at one of those? A bunch yeah, of we performed there like twice. Yeah, tell, um, tell people about. Oh. A lot of people, you know, it's basically just a weekend where it's just, you know, we come together and have fun, man. So whatever you're going through, you might be going through stuff nobody know about depression, you know, anxiety, all that. And just family stuff, just whatever, man. Whatever you're going through, the time is to get away for that weekend. Decompress, have fun, and um, you're going to enjoy yourself. But we just started the way this weekend, just trying to elevate the last two years, of course, because we ain't have it because of the, the coronavirus. Me trying to figure out some stuff and trying to find like venues to have that because it'd be so crazy, like so people be kind of scared to have it. One thing I, I also I'd be really remiss to ask you about um, as far as other, other off the court stuff, other just some things going on in your life is you have a three year old daughter, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, a three year old, yeah, four year old, and a nine year old. Oh wow! Yeah, so I recently years. posted that. Here, here, yeah, three of them. So how? how how would you explain fatherhood? I explain fatherhood like there's no book on how to be like the perfect parent. Nor do I try to be perfect, but every day you get a chance to learn. You learn something new every day. Your kid, you learn something new from each kid every day. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's the biggest thing right there. Just being there for as long as you're there for your kid and spending time and correcting them when they wrong, but also giving them a chance to, you know, grow. And, you know, be a kid, so you got to learn both, you know what I mean? And like I said, not no book on how to be a parent. As long as you, you know, you're there for them, bro, you spend the time, making sure, like, their needs is taken care of. And just having fun, man, enjoying it, because they go by so fast. Mm -hmm. I got a nine-year-old already, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So just making sure that you enjoy that moment during that time, because mm -hmm. you never know. So another thing I think a lot of people might be wondering is will we see a Dion Waiters, you know, Dion Waiters back on an MVP team? You know, I'm hoping, like, whatever. Yeah, 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 man, I'm for sure. Good. Man, you know, um, like I said, man, we all go through stuff in life, man. And like the last two years, I won't say it was easy. And um, for sure, man, you know, we all go through stuff. Like, and I had my ups and downs, I, you know, I second guessed it. A couple of things that I only want to do, but that's the that's the thing about life, right? You get a chance to go through stuff and feel stuff you never felt before, and try to find an understanding for it, and then uh, try to get back to it. Okay. Uh, one more basketball question for you. Feel free to plead the fifth on this. I'm not going to try and force it. I'm not that kind of. Right. Player. You are literally one of the fraction of a fraction of people to have played with both LeBron and Kevin Durant. Yeah. You could say both, I'm not going to force anything out of you, but 
You want to kind of hit that, what kind of blew your mind a little bit more when you were, you know, on the team? Uh, uh, I was It's both. I think I'm not like both. I took, I took, I took the whole thing the way from you know, both the guys, man. You know, they're, they're different leaders in their own way. I'm also had a, like, real, like, bond connection with KD. Mm -hmm. Like, we really put that time in like, talk every day at the crowd. I was like, I was like KD, I was in there every day when I got traded. Yeah, I was, I was with it. But also, Brian took me to the wing too, though. So it was like, when I was young, me and Brian shot together. We worked out, we went out to eat, we did all that too, so. Both of them, man, the great guys. I learned a lot from both of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we really can't go wrong with neither. So, I told you that was the last basketball question. Right. right. So, I did want to for this last few questions. Really spotlight something that at least the people that you're here with made, made sure I had to mention. That's something right. that you also are very passionate about, and that is gaming, I guess. Right? Yeah. Four well, that was it. Four days, you'd say, your, your favorite Big game. centric. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Central Game. So, what how many wins like, do you have in four minutes? Squad wins, I probably got like, I probably got like, what, over 600 wins, I would say. Okay, Squads, for sure. Trio, probably had like 40 or 50. Uh, solos, I probably got like a good 16, 17. I just started carrying it like that. And. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, so, I'm a mad guy. Before I left Miami not too long ago, I just. I was ranked 67. I cracked the top 100. I'm on a 10 game win streak. So I'm itching to really get back home and, you know, <laughs> get, get back home again. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Have some more dubs. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Outside of basketball, it's just a, and I can do a lot of things, man. You know, multi talented a lot of different things. You know, I like to ski. Coming from South Philly, particularly like my side, we all skated. Like, all my childhood friends, we all skated. Like, Skating was like Friday, Saturday, and like on Sundays, it was three different times. So I would go Friday. I wasn't ready yet for Saturday, but I would go and just watch the, like, the guy that was better than me skate. And then Sunday, I would go from one to three, four to six, seven to ten. I did that every week. That's just kind of fun over there. Yeah, and that's who I became who I am. So as far as something that I've covered, what's one fun fact about the young leaders that people listening right now would be like, Sure, I would have never been able to guess that. I'm a big animal guy, man. I watch a lot of animal planet, a lot of YouTube on animal. My favorite is like the orcas, the mm. killer whale. That's my favorite. Oh, yeah. yeah, so I'm a big, I'm a big animal guy. Like, I love watching animals. I love watching like stuff on like snakes, mm. you know, motor drag, everything. I watch, I watch. I watch it, everything good. I love animals. I ain't got a lion tag on my leg, right? I didn't finish it because it hurt it too much. <laughs> so I got like, I got like a half. I'm not like a half symbol. Did you see yourself finishing it like one day? Uh, I'm gonna have to finish it because the details are so crazy. But yeah. the guy spent three hours just just carving it. Yeah, just like, carving three hours. Yeah. Like I was sweating so bad, yeah. I couldn't finish. I'm a fancy dog. So right. Instead of being like Mufasa the symbol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks that you had to ignore like, all that. Bro, like, bro. You know that? Yeah. Like, yeah, it hurt. Yeah, it oh, hurt. man. Cool. Yeah, like it's crazy. You can see like a little bit. But yeah. see, I couldn't finish it though, but this was like three years ago. If someone asked me what that looked like, I probably would say an unfinished line tattoo. Yeah. You can see it though. Like, you see the foot and the bottom. Once he got here, he started shaking. I guess so, the more so, detail, maybe, like the, the more painful. Like, yeah, so that's what he said, yeah. though. But just the detail, bro. I mean, I hours, so then they gotta go back and redo it. I'll definitely say he's off to a very good start. I'm gonna get it done, though, because I gotta get my I gotta get my other two kids' name. I gotta get my girl's name. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm, sure. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. My girl? Yeah, yeah she did. Yeah, yeah, you know, no girls, though, man. I wouldn't get, I don't think right. I would ever, no offense to my future wife if she ever sees this, but I don't think I'm getting your name tied. I mean, my girl maybe you could tag. change me. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. she got my name tied now, like three months in. Okay. It was different. She had her, you <laughs> had her like, different. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, she tagged that name three months in. Yeah. It was different, you know, you know what she that's like. That's like, that, that sounds so like, that sounds so like. I'm going to give you a funny story though, right? She called me like, she's like, you know, guess where I'm at? I'm like, I don't know. Where you at? Should I have a tattoo? I said, listen, I was joking, bro. I said, if you don't get my name, don't even come in. It don't even matter. It don't even matter if you don't get my name. 
She came home and showed me my name, D. Williams. Man. What do you think after seeing her? You put that work in. <laughs> you put that work in. Yeah, yeah she, you know, she, yeah. she loved you. Everything about oh, you. That's the dream. That's yeah, the, man. That's actually the dream. You gotta have a sense of humor there, man. You know, you gotta show the sense of humor side. Oh, Cause everybody true. think she's so serious, man. Like. But no, nah, that's the truth, though. Like, she just, we just was vibing, bro. Just the vibe. Three months in, you said? Three months in, was connection. Just like, yeah. And then look, 11 years later, man. Still like y'all with three kids. That is, uh, that's yeah. just like, the only way I can use it. It's just awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. All three kids. All three kids, same mom, you know. Same mom and dad, so you know, it was real brothers and sisters. Not the head. Like, you know, so is there any parting messages, anything we haven't covered to this point that you want to say to the people and make sure is, you know, pushed across to those watching? Um, you know, just never give up. Um, stay locked in. Uh, understand that you're going to have dark days, good days. Uh, you might just be feeling okay certain days, but you know, never waver, man. Like, and understand that there's always somebody here that like to help you if you need help. But we all go through, we all go through, you know, those dark days. I've been going through that two years. I had my day up, down, you know, so just trying to figure it out. Um, down, try to balance out your life, life a little bit do better. Ever, do you ever take the time out, like even with ups and downs, like, do you ever take the time I mean, out? I mean, I know how I embrace it. Like, I'm like, because whatever I'm feeling at the time is like, I know it's not forever. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing about me is like, whatever I go through, if it's if it rain, I'm like, it can't rain forever. I'm not going to fight this forever. You know, you got to, you got to, you got to turn that corner. Man. So, that's one thing about me, like, so, yeah, I have my days, man, like, I, where I'm feeling a certain way, so people might have to know it, but I'm sure. Well, I go through, I go through depression, I go through anxiety, I go through all that. Last two years, not playing. A lot of people forget athletes, like, these Yeah, that's, and you got to go with pressure. They don't get, they don't understand, the most pressure when the athlete, you, everything is handed to you and all that, and it's just like, it's taken away from something you've been doing your whole life, you love, and then you try to crawl and get it back, find that love. That passion again, but yeah, you had your days. I had my days. I feel a liar if I say it. Well, drop your social media where people can you know, tap in with whatever you got going on. I mean, if you want to come to the drip guy, you want to come to the page, you know, greatest three, I did. I don't, I mean, Twitter too. We do the Twitter a little bit, but my Twitter is Dion Greatest Three. Stuff I see you post on social media and whatnot. Seems like you're, you're a big eagle to that. Oh, for sure. Yeah, die hard, man. I think I was born to do that. We had a lot of ups and downs. We won the Super Bowl 2018. Yeah. It's time for ready to go put up 40 points. So when I was like, I probably was like 27 years old, I said, man, I just want to be a live bus in the Super Bowl. Yeah, to see that. Yeah, I got see that. Like, I got to see that four years ago. I cried and everything, man. I like, really cried. And I had, at the time, I, had, I was in LA, I had, just got surgery, I had got two screws in my foot, so. They probably got the biggest somewhere for it. I was jumping around in the cast on one leg. Yeah, yeah I, I cried, bro. I didn't really cry, like, real tears. So. I would be the same way if my Jets won the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be waiting for a while. Yeah, you're going to be waiting for a while. That's no disrespect to y'all. You'll be waiting for a while. I uh, I can't even say I disagree. It's just, it's just. Yeah, it's man, you know. Uh, I can't, I'm not in that same boat as you because I was there when we won the Super Bowl. Yeah. Against Tom Brady. Yeah. So I had no complaints. So Go Birds. Go Birds. Now we'll see if you can stand there. A lot of you can stand Go Birds, baby. Go Birds. Big head, yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Super Bowl, we trying, you know, we trying to be there. Yeah. Whatever the deal is, I'm just sitting here sadly because. Shout out to the Jessica because they'll do wear white and green, but it's not our green. Yeah. You know? Sure. It's and different. So, top of the drip. Right color is wrong with pretty much every, everything else. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you though. I'm not trying to be funny though. I like what the Jets have done. I hope so. I like man. Zach. I like Zach a lot. Jerry Stall. I'm hoping. I like Sauce. I like I like John Runner. But I like I like what y'all did, man. I, I, I pick up some a lot of It's the first time where, uh, where I'm thinking like maybe. You maybe. Know, young Ford yeah. Might amount to something. Might. I'll take that, basically. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Very interesting. Well, that's all the time we have for our interview with the one and only Dion Waiters. 
Reminder, subscribe, like, all that stuff. Follow Dion on all social media platforms. Follow me at Harrison Singer underscore on Instagram, TikTok. Follow the brewery, man. Get the drip, get the content. Get the content. Enjoy the sword, you know what I mean? Like, it's for this your benefit. One, this is one on one right there. It's this, for your benefit. This up to the person. Tap this, in. You know, tap in, man. Appreciate you. Big box. You should have hit him with the hooter.